Hello folks. Um, so I was going to try and do this as a three minute short, but I've tried and I just can't squeeze it down under that period of time. Um, so you're getting another full length video, but it'll be a short one, I promise. So a while back, I made a couple of videos. Uh, I'll stick links down in the description or some sort of banner somewhere if I can figure out how to do it. Um, where I basically went into um, how I have my, you know, comms uh, configured when using these Apple CarPlay units. So really doesn't matter whether it's uh, the Chiggy, the CarPuri, the Aochi, really doesn't matter. Um, where you can get into a situation where for some reason uh, you switch your headset on, you go and get on the bike, the Apple CarPlay unit you know, fires up, and for some reason, the audio source does not switch over to your headset, uh, either because something's happened, you, you walked away from your helmet with your phone and it got out of range and it hasn't switched you know, back over. Um, so I made, a video, I made both of those videos uh, to show how I configure everything I, show you, I showed you how to create uh, an automation um, where every time your phone, your iPhone links up to Apple CarPlay, uh, it would run a shortcut, which would essentially uh, you know, switch over your uh, audio output to your headset. Um, so, uh, and also in, in, in instances where you've also got your phone paired to the bike, uh, to the TAFT, and um, it, that has grabbed the audio. Now, the only problem I found with that configuration is that um, you know, sometimes mid-ride, my audio source ends up not being my headset. Um, that can be for a number of reasons. Um, I might have walked away from walked away from the bike with my uh, with my phone in my hand, you know, just, you know, something has caused the audio output mid-ride to switch from my headset back over to my, my iPhone speaker. Um, I had it, you know, recently and it was, you know, very annoying and I was trying to use Siri to run the shortcut that I made. Um, now, I don't know whether it was my helm, my headset, whether it was my stammer, but I just couldn't get you know, Siri to understand me uh, and run the shortcut that I already have that switches my audio output back over to my headset. Um, so I had to stop, I had to, to then get my phone out, which on my bike is in the little cubby hole uh, on a wireless you know, charging pad, but my you know, tank pad was on top of it, so I had to take that off. It was a pain in the ass. So, I started thinking about ways that I could switch the audio source, uh, you, you know, back to my headset mid-ride without doing without doing anything dangerous um, or having to really, you know, you know, faff around, and more so not having to you to rely on you know Siri recognizing my voice and understanding what I'm actually saying. Um, and then it dawned on me, why don't I just have another Apple or or automation um, that fires when something else happens. So I started to think what that something else you know, happening could be. And at first I was thinking too, you know, I, I was thinking too complex because I work in IT and I, I often overcomplicate things. And then it dawned on me, opening an app. So what I'm gonna do is if you already have the shortcut that I showed you how to make in uh, the previous you know, videos, you can skip the first step, but I'm gonna assume that you're coming at this from a sort of clean slate and you don't have any of this. Arguably, you could say that with this way, you don't actually need the original automation that fires when Apple CarPlay you know, hooks up, but it's entirely up to you. So. I'm gonna get my iPhone screen recording and I'm gonna to try to stick it up either there or there. 
Okay, so for this to work, you're gonna need uh, your headset. You don't have to obviously have it on your helmet, but it has to be you know, with you, switched on, and paired to your phone right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, you're gonna have to look at partially at the, uh, the top of my head now. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the Apple, Apple Shortcuts app. Now it's just called Shortcuts. Uh, you're gonna go in and you're gonna hit the plus button to create a new shortcut. And you're simply gonna search for change playback destination. And as long as your headset is paired and linked up to your phone right now, you're, if you if I you know tap on where it says iPhone, you should see it in the list. So for me, it's uh, the Pack Talk Edge. I you know hit that, and that's it. That's the shortcut done. Now, for a little bit of a bonus that I did mention in my other um, in I that I did mention in my other my other videos. I also like to um, set the playback, um, the audio, the audio volume of the phone because um, there are times when also the audio source has has switched over, but my iPhone media volume has been set on zero and I can't hear any music. And it hasn't been that the audio output is go you know isn't going to my headset. It's just that uh, the volume is set. To zero now on some of the newer headsets the volume uh, on the the little wheel controls the volume on the phone and on some it's independent so you may or may not see that issue anyway so what I'm gonna do is set media volume and I'm gonna drag that up to I don't know nearly all of the way 95 there we go and because I don't want to have any distractions while I'm riding, I'm also going to set the focus mode uh, to be uh, to have do not disturb on until switched off. That's it. Okay. Now, what you're going to do now? So that that shortcut is called set focus. I'm just going to rename it to audio output and save that. Now I'm gonna go over to the automation tab and I'm gonna say, create a new automation, scroll down to app, when, and I'm gonna choose an app that is shows, it has to be an app that shows on Apple CarPlay, otherwise while you're riding the bike, you won't have the option to actually open it. Um, but I know my radar is an, is an app that I have that shows on an Apple CarPlay. So when my radar is opened, I'm going to change that to run immediately because I don't need to see anything on the screen because of course my phone will be in the little cubby hole. Next, and then I'm going to find my shortcut called audio output. And as you can see there, when my radar is opened, run that, run that shortcut. So to prove that this works, we're going to go back to the home screen and I'm gonna, uh, my audio output source already is the headset because obviously it's switched on, but I'm gonna switch it over to the iPhone speaker. Uh, and as you can see, the volume is down at zero. So if I now open my radar, the volume went right the way up. It turned, turned the do not disturb mode on. And if I go back into the quick settings, as you can see, the audio output source is now my headset. So the good thing is, no matter how many times uh, you you open the app, it will it will run every time. Even if the app's already open, uh, if you go to the Apple CarPlay you know screen with all of all of uh, all of the apps and you open the app that you've ov you've obviously chosen, um, it will launch. Uh, the shortcut. Now, if you also have a car, um, don't worry. The worst that will happen is if you um, is if your phone is linked to another Apple CarPlay head unit in your car, and you open that same app. The worst that will happen is um, it'll set your focus mode. In my case, uh, to DND. Uh, but it will fail to change the audio output source. And you'll see a little message on your phone saying, 
I couldn't do it because the Pactalk Edge, in my case, couldn't be found. So there's no downside uh, if you do use your phone with up with other app, with other Apple CarPlay units. Um, so that is basically it. Uh, I don't know how I've made a 10 minute you know video out of this, um, but I just wanted um, to share that. Now uh, that shortcut, you can tailor that shortcut to however you want. You can just have it you know set in the audio output. You can have it doing the volume. You don't have to have all of the options. Um, I'm you know, using. That just works for me. Uh, but you can have more in there if you really want. You can have it waiting for five seconds if uh, for some reason you're, it's not working quite, it's not working quite right for you. Um, but I like this because now if I'm, if I get on the bike, I start riding and for some reason the audio output is just not not working. I know that I don't have to stop the bike, take my gloves off, take take uh, the tank bag off, take my phone out, you unlock it, and start you know messing around. I can just on the Apple CarPlay, and if I have one of the Apple CarPlay units that obviously uses the BMW Wonder Wheel, I don't even have to take my hands off the handlebars. I just have to go and open that app, and my audio output goes back to my headset. So there you have it. Now, for Android users, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous video, this is possible on Android, so I know it is. However, Android is typically more, what's the word, free when it comes to the things it'll let you do. And a lot of Android users will say that's the reason they like it. The customization, you can do things that uh, you make it your own, and a lot of people do slate the iPhone for its limitations. I tried to make this work on my Android phone that I have, um, but the problem is, although I can get the steps in there, um, now if you're, if you're an Android user that is even slightly nerdy, you will know what I mean when I say this, but um, in order to make this run, you need, you need to have root access. And routing an Android phone is uh, not always easy. Uh, it can cause a lot of a, 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 a lot of issues. A lot of people say it's not very secure because you are granting root access. Long story short, it's not as easy on an Android phone. It's probably the one and only thing that is more easy on an iPhone because the shortcuts app is built in to I, uh, iOS, so it has the required you know, system access that it needs to do this. I'd love to find a way to, to make this, this happen on Android and maybe one day I will. Um, the other thing I am also, I am actively working on, and again, mainly for iPhone users unfortunately, is I have heard some feedback on my earlier videos that um, people have found that even though my shortcuts and automations work for them, especially in the configuration where you also have your phone connected to the BMW screen, uh, they are saying that everything works until they get a phone call. And then for some reason, answering that phone call seems to switch the audio over to the TFT. It seems to grab it back again. Now, this new video would help uh, with that but obviously you'd have that period of the other the other person going hello hello not being able to hear you while you're scrambling to try and open the app that you've that you've assigned to the or the or the or automation that i've obviously shown you um so i am working on a more i am working on trying to figure out why that happens i think it's the order in which things have been paired but and I think, because it, it works fine for me, but not other people. I think everything, all of the pairings need to be removed. And the last thing that gets paired is the TFT. But I can't say that categorically just yet. I'm still working on it. So bear with me and there will be another video because I've had quite a few comments that everything works until you get a phone call. And again, this is iPhone only. So anyway, I'm going to stop you know, waffling now. I hope this may have been of some use for you. 
Um, any feedback, please stick it down in the uh, uh, the comments. Uh, also, um, do head over to my Patreon page. It's free, by the way. There's no paid tier. I'm going to be sharing more you know, detailed stuff on there, a bit more long form, more like a bit of a blog. So please do go and go and go and sign up. Like I said, it's free. There's no no hidden costs. It's not a scam. It's just I I, I want to use that uh, to go into more detail about you know, certain things. So yeah, if you have like this, you know, do all the usual like, subscribe, share, blah blah blah. It really does help. No, it's a bit, you know, cliche nowadays, but it really does help, especially to get my videos recommended to other people, uh, which I think is the area in which I'm kind of lacking right now. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video, which hopefully will be the review of the Innov N2. Uh, so if you have any requests on what you'd like me to sort of cover in that, it's already fitted to the bike. I've been riding with it. I have some initial thoughts on it, but if you have any requests, please stick them down in uh, the comments or drop me an email either way and I will try to make sure it's uh, included.